My walk through the tiny footpaths of the villages in Tawa Makweni County are purposeful and in search of a particular river with a life-changing technology. Makweni is one of the driest counties in the country and water here is a precious commodity. And now, this reinforced wall built across this river is changing lives around here. One of the greatest challenges in uh, southeastern Kenya, and especially the counties of uh, Makweni, Machakos, and Kitui, is the challenges with uh, water access, where women and young girls have to walk for more than eight kilometers in some of the places so that they can bring 20 liters of water uh, back home. These structures are developed and constructed by the African Sundam Foundation, who are working closely with marginalized rural communities in arid and semi-arid regions in a bid to increase access to clean water, health, food production, and incomes. According to Winfrey Mwangangi, before the construction of the Sandam and due to the arid nature of the locality, they face daily challenges relating to a lack of food and the scarcity of water and trekking several kilometers in search of the precious commodity. Tulikuwa tukiamuka saa 10 za usiku tunakuja tunaenda kutega maji na tunakaa hapo masaa matatu maine tukingojea maji na tunapokuwa hapo tukitega maji tun saa zingine tunapigana ni kwa sababu tunapigana ni kwa sababu unakuja na unataka ku, ku, kuchota maji mbele ya mwenzako na mwenzako akiingia achote maji wewe mnashikana mnapikana ni kwa sababu ana, 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 anaenda mbele yako Cornelius Kialo tells me during the dry season water collects behind the dam and brings with it tons of sand and silt over the course of around 3 rainy seasons the sun builds up behind the dam and collects water We've managed to support them uh, implement 383 sand dams uh, within the larger Ukambani area. And these are, are slowly translated to supporting the farmers lessen the distance and the time that they take to collect water. Sand dams have seen these communities break the circle of dependence on relief food and are now practicing sustainable agriculture, which has increased agricultural productivity in the county. Residents then use the water and more of it is trapped beneath the sand, which the wall also blocks from being washed downstream. Currently we are doing solar pumping, where we have solar panels and fitted to a tank in the dam. Then that water is pumped to a storage tank in a higher point where we can supply to the communities. The dams are simple, low-cost, low-maintenance technology that retains water and recharges underground water. Sand dams are the most cost-effective methods of water conservation in drylands. We have also gone to an extent of modifying the obstruction methods in the sand dam. Instead of people scooping water, we are doing shallow wells. We are pumping water from the dams. And we are also enabling perforated pipes to allow water to flow below the dam. Once the top water is finished, one can easily dig into the sand to access the stored water. The sun normally protects the water beneath it from evaporating. The women from this community are the biggest beneficiaries from the sun dam and now have hope for a better future for their families. To an ordinary eye, this will pass as a dry, hopeless riverbed. But for this community living here in Tawa Makweni County, this is a huge water reservoir that is holding water for them that they use for human consumption, watering their animals, and even irrigation. Philip Kaitang, for the next frontier. Very interesting there from Philip Keitani. Now, let's move on because close to half of the country's small and medium enterprises collapse within the first year of founding. Another 15% fall within their second year, painting a picture of a rise in